somewhat accidentally. I didn't realize it was folklore. Um, I thought folklore was tall tales, legends, things that are written. I didn't realize that cooking and building a house and music was folklore. And music's my particular interest. Ah, that's a good question. It's taught me a new way of looking at things and being curious, asking questions, uh, not being analytical in the sense of making it cold, but looking at the why behind things and understanding what they mean in a specific culture. Ah, it's music, but specifically um, a 19th century fiddler's tune book, his personal tune book uh, in Aberdeenshire. So what I really liked about that was that it's his own take on many tunes and how he learned them and how he taught them. Robert Dawson was the name of the, the fiddler. He lived in Aberdeenshire in the 1850s. And his tune book has come down through a family that still lives in the area. And I really have enjoyed seeing where he got his tunes from, how he wrote them very, very carefully. He was classically trained. And how he might have learned those tunes and how he taught them to other people. So there's been a bit of history. There's been some uh, genealogy, uh, background about the families, the history of the area, how you got around transportation. All those things come into that, and I really enjoy that cross-cultural, cross-sectional analysis of something. I do think ethnomusicology, ethnology, folklore, they all matter because they all have to do with people, and we are people. And I think the only way we can understand who we are and who everybody else is and how we work together is to understand our cultures and what we do with them, what art we use, to make our lives more meaningful.